Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome on into a LEGO Harry Potter 2021 book review. Today we are looking at Let's Play Quidditch, and this set has an exclusive minifigure and will actually be releasing on June the 1st, but I ordered this through Chapters, Indigo here in Canada, and for some reason, they always seem to ship out the books early. Now, I also tried ordering the exclusive sets with them, so I'm not sure if it'll arrive earlier before the date. Hopefully, that will happen as well. But anyways, this book will actually be releasing on June the 1st, I believe, worldwide, and is available and retailing for $8.99 USD, and I paid $10.99 Canadian for this. Again, it does come with an exclusive figure there, which we'll take a look at now. And uh, I've never, I don't know. So this is very easy to steal. I know that that sounds weird for me to say, but a lot of times when you go to the book section, well, maybe it's not as easy as I thought. Oh, you actually have to break a seal. But uh, these are constantly being stolen. Any Lego book is being stolen. And then sometimes the books will appear at like the dollar store or dollar tree, whatever you call it in your country. And uh, they are missing the figures just because they're just trying to sell the book because the figures have been stolen. So this is what it comes in. And it's easy to just tip on out and you get all the pieces. No wand or anything included here, but you do get the broom. So here is the Cedric Diggory figure, and it isn't actually anything new, but that torso is exclusive as of right now to Diagon Alley, which is pretty crazy that it's coming in this set. And if you wanted to make a whole Hufflepuff team, like you can go out and get multiple of this book for relatively cheap and just swap out the head. And I think it's a really great option, but I think that this is a good figure. I have always loved the Quidditch robes, and I think that the torso printing is really great with the Hogwarts crest there on the chest. And... I'm not sure why they chose to change his hair there from dark brown to reddish brown in this and other sets, but I still think that it's fine. It, it does look like Cedric, I think. He's actually using the Han Solo face from Solo, and on the back he does have this upset or angry fighting expression, maybe grunting while he's flying and playing Quidditch. And as you flip that up there, he does actually have a hood and uh, some more back printing. But uh, yeah, I think that this is a great figure. But now that that's gone... <laughs> And it just looks so empty there. Let's let's go ahead and let's flip through this thing because there's some interesting stuff in here as well as I'll show you the back actually to show you what I mean. Look at that. You've got uh, Ginny there in some Hufflepuff Quidditch robes, which I think is really interesting there. So we've never gotten that yet. And you'll see a couple other characters appear in here that we've never gotten before. But uh, this, is, uh, this is the exclusive figure just showing you how to build it. And then here we've got... To a couple of different puzzles and things like that if you wanted to you could pause the video and you could try and answer some of these and uh, Yeah, like look at all these people that we've never gotten here on the team But this is actually my favorite page. I've already flipped through this, but this is my favorite page I love seeing like the complete teams here like we've never gotten them before and I really hope that they do more Quidditch sets like we really need the Ravenclaw ones more accessible but uh just some of the hair pieces and stuff like that i love seeing like the superman hair and reddish brown you've got pigtails there in like the dark brown uh, the wild style hair there with uh, a nice uh purple like uh dye it's so neat i i love it look at all these a couple of different activities for you to do, 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 do. Oh, it's a fun little book these activity books they sometimes include like characters that we've never gotten and uh, they're just extremely detailed which I, I really love and like crab and goyle are in here as well I think as you flip through which is interesting since their first time in the 2018 sets uh, were in the polyjuice potion set that we just reviewed yesterday so you could check that out as well as any of the other Harry Potter sets that we've looked at in 2021 I have a playlist here at the end but yeah, honestly, I'm surprised there wasn't a Quidditch set when it came to the 20th anniversary for Harry Potter. I just thought that it would be something that they definitely want to do. I, I don't know. I, I really had a strong feeling that they were going to do that there. So, see, there they are there in the Slytherin one, or at least one of them is. And, uh, yeah, as you flip through, you could see all so many activities here. a Hufflepuff banner there which of course if you didn't know I'm a Hufflepuff so yeah I love this book because of that it's really cool we got a quitted Ron which we don't have I mean it's not difficult to make or anything but it's just interesting that 
Like, look how much he's featured here. And we just don't have these figures. Even Ginny there. I think that's so interesting. We got the whole team there. And uh, here's the answers if you were doing them along through the book. But yeah, those are all the answers. But anyways, that is the, the book, of course. You're getting it for the figure, but uh, it's still really neat. And uh, I really love that LEGO does stuff like this. Yeah, technically speaking, the figure isn't exclusive, but like it's cool that we're getting like rare pieces and things like that in a cheap way here in the book. And I think that... I just think that the book choices and things like that have been pretty good all around for other themes and except for Harry Potter I guess last year since Tom Riddle since come in the chamber which we'll have a review out sh shortly for but anyways everyone let me know down below in the comment section are you going to be picking up this book or what do you think of it but I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I hope you all have a great day I will see you all in the next one.